Hello and welcome to another DIY journey video and one yet again based around CCTV. So, um, I wanted to do this um, maybe as a learning curve to show you all on the mistake I probably made uh, and to prevent others making that mistake and help you choose a specific camera for what you need. Um, it's, it's very difficult to choose the right lens uh, and understand which one you will need for what you are trying to achieve. Um, and I was a bit lazy when I bought this system um, for the house that we bought, the one that we live in now, um, about five months ago. Um, and I thought it would be suitable for what we need from past experience. So, just to give an overview of what options you have, um, Hick Vision in particular, um, and the cameras I have, there's a choice of lenses. Starting at the widest field of view, so field of view being the view from there to there that you can see, and they also show you top to bottom field of view also. Now, 2.8 millimeters is the widest field of view you can get. And I believe, and uh, I will have to double check, and I'll take it through on this video at a later date, that 2.8 field of view is about 130, maybe 140 degrees field of view. The four millimeters, which is the next one up, if you like, and a narrower field of view and a slightly more zoomed in, that's what this is. And I believe this is 102 degrees field of view. Um, I went for this because I've, I had these at the old house um, and I felt that that was a sufficient amount of field of view that for overseeing all our drive that sits in the middle of the L shape of the house. Um, I'll come back onto it why it isn't and what has made me think this uh, once I've explained them. Um, the next ones you have is six millimeters and eight millimeters uh, and they're even narrower field of views um, I've never had the desire to use six or eight millimeters. Um, a number of reasons, they're not as easily accessible I've found um, from suppliers, um, which for the general homeowner is not really um, an issue. Um, but also uh, I find it's more suited to maybe industrial uh, units where you wanna be more zoomed in. You, you've maybe got your camera 50 meters away and you want to focus in on the gate itself say on the entrance, which is not really applicable to me. So um, in my experience, 2.8 millimeters and four millimeters have been the, the go-to choice. Um, now, I thought that would be suitable for me um, on this system and for the rear of the house and the side gate um, and the other side, I would say, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I wanted to focus on one particular thing and I'm not actually that bothered about most of the ambient um, sort of areas. Uh, and I thought this would be the same for the, uh, the front of the house. And I thought I would have more than sufficient field of view uh, suitable to what, to what I want to see. Now, fast forward to now, we're now four months down the line. Uh, and I'm beginning to realize that it's not really suitable. Um, it definitely does the job and it's focused su such as this uh, particular camera uh, we can clearly see the front door garage doors and cars however and um, it's not through activities of uh, criminal activities if you like or uh, burglaries or burglaries or anything of the like and um, but it's more I want to see what's happening here um, and I also want to see what's happening here and things of just like delivery drivers just seeing if they come into our house um, I just can't see that sort of area and um, we do live up a private driveway and out of the way so um, we're not overly bothered about what's happening on the street um, but it would be nice to see certain things so what I'm hoping to achieve by changing my cameras over and I'm also going to black from white but that's another another story um, and what I'm hoping to achieve by installing 2.8 millimeter cam, uh, yeah, camera lenses, uh, but I'm having to change the whole camera, is that we can. It's more zoomed out, um, and we'll have a much bigger field of view. Hopefully, seeing the end of the drive. 
uh, and I just wanted to document that in this video and show you um, what the difference is mainly. So what I'll do now is um, I'll take you through the app and um, so Hikvision um, have an app for all their equipment, a brilliant app and uh, we'll get it on the screen now and I'll talk you through it. So I have an iPhone and I download it through the App Store, I presume it's the same for Samsung's and other devices uh, but I'm not sure so you would have to check. Um, so at the bottom you've got products so we click that and then we'll move on and uh, it asks you what you go for so I've gone for network devices under camera and then chosen the easy IP3 um, sort of line of products this lists everything so I like to filter down to the 8 megapixels and then it'll just give me a list of uh, the cameras that sort of are in, of interest to me but you can filter them down to whatever you want so top left is the ones I've gone for the 2385G ones and then you've got all your product description basic overview and then we'll move over to the product parameters which um, sort of is a more in-depth detail uh, so as you can see there description just gives you an overview of what you've got and then when it moves over uh, we've got more in depth uh, it tells you the field of view uh, for each lens uh, be it 2.8 4 and 6 uh, I don't know if you can see that on the screen I'm looking at this on on my iPhone and uh, it's quite small but uh, hopefully on a bigger screen you'll be able to read that and see exactly what this particular camera is uh, from a lens point of view um, but again this this app's applicable to to whatever camera you you require or you've got or you're looking to buy but this is what I use uh, when I'm going for setting up systems and uh, putting them together for people so that's what I use to um, determine what sort of camera would suit the system that I'm going to be installing I obviously didn't take the time to do that um, when buying this system so what we'll do now is we'll get downstairs we'll get the cameras quickly changed over and I will try and time lapse it um, and then we'll come back up and uh, see what the difference is and uh, what it looks like now so i'm racing against the light um so we'll try and get it done i don't think it'll take me too long and uh yeah so you'll catch me back in a couple of seconds probably um but probably half an hour an hour to me so um yeah i'll get down get it done and uh, we'll see how it compares half an hour later we're back um, so yeah it started raining so it was a bit of a rush job um, I still need to tidy up uh, just one of them um, but not for this video so the 2.8s are installed um, and straight away you'll see how much more we can see um, it's not affected seeing the garage door and the front door as much as I thought it would um, which is good um, but as you can see we can now see the bottom of the car uh, we can also see this area here which I wanted um, now that area is used as a bit of a turning point and this is the reason why I want to see I mean someone clipped the back of the car or whatever we've got it now um, so yeah I think that gives a good representation and it's why I wanted to put this quick video together to help um, sort of visualize um, exactly the differences um, so what I'll do is I'll pop some before and after screenshots in um, just to help you understand and see a complete like for like um, sort of side by side difference in them both um, but yeah night and day difference uh, on the field of view um, but it's very specific to what you need so it's worth doing your own research uh, to understand exactly um, your requirements um, sometimes uh, 
I say 2.8s are normally on like a back garden where you just want an overview maybe um, or or in my instance where I need it uh, for the front but generally 4s are my go to um, and it's just specific that 2.8s um, typical that I need a 2.8s when in there but serves me right for not doing the research so so yeah just thought I'd chuck this quick video together to show and help uh, explain the differences and visually see the differences um, because it's hard to find that information. Um, it's something I get asked a lot over on Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, so and I hope it's helped. Um, so please give it a thumbs up if it has and make sure you subscribe um, for more videos coming in the future, be it CCTV and the garden project. Um, we're so close to that thousand subscriber mark, so it'd be nice to uh, to reach that and go and check out the Instagram page for more behind the scenes, um, day to day sort of activities that's happening, um, which is new build underscore DIY underscore journey um, over on Instagram. So thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Cheers.